What's up, y'all? So today we're talking about one of the most famous questions that a lot of Christians ask is once saved, always saved, biblical, or can I lose my salvation? So it's not about how we feel. It's about what the word of God says. OK, so imagine if we had Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa and Jeffrey Dahmer. And I said, hey, on a scale from zero to 50, what would you rate these people as far as them being a good person? You would say maybe for Martin Luther King, he's a 39 because he stood for justice and equal rights. Mother Teresa, she's probably a 45. She helped the needy. She served the homeless. She served the widow. She did a lot of good things. Jeffrey Dahmer, he's a five because he was a serial killer. But in the eyes of God, apart from Jesus, they are a zero. OK, a fat zero, because our good works doesn't make us right with God. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. When Adam and Eve sinned, they became distant from God. They were separated from God and there was nothing that they could do to put themselves back in right standard with God. And that applies to us. There's nothing that we can do that can make us right with God. And that's very humbling. And that's why many people, it's hard for them to hear the word repent because they'd be like, repent from what? I'm a good person. I do good things. I, I give towards charity. We want to show that we are important and we want to look at God like, hey, God, look at me. I'm, I'm worth it, right? I've done all these good things. We cannot work our way to heaven. If so, then Jesus came and died for nothing, if it were possible. So when I gave my life back to Jesus at 17, I started listening to Christian rap. And one of the first artists I heard was Flame. And Flame got a song called Who Can Pluck Us Out of His Hand. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the father are one. He said they will never perish. Not they might or I, I may change my mind about it. This is what the word of God says. So Christians, just because we have eternal security in heaven, does that mean that we can do what we want? No, the Apostle Paul says, well, then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? You cannot receive Jesus and the Holy Spirit and walk with Jesus and not experience conviction. You will be convicted. It's a battle between the flesh and the spirit. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other so that you are not able to do whatever you want. Though we have the Holy Spirit within us, Christians, um, we should live a steady life of repentance, okay? Because we need the gospel every single day. We do fall sometimes. We do commit sins, known and unknown. And that's why we need to check our hearts before God. There was nothing that we can do to put ourselves in right standard with God. There's none that we can do to take ourselves out of right standard with God. If there was nothing that we could do, to put ourselves in right standard with God, then why do we think that it's something that we can do to take ourselves out? It's, it's, it's about God, not about us. We are saved by grace through faith. When I first began walking with Jesus, I would sin and fall short, and I would say things like, I'll go to God when I get myself together, or when I get myself straight, or when I feel like I haven't sinned that much. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to get myself together. I need him. When I graduated college, they told me since I had loans that 
they was going to give me a grace period. A grace period means that they're going to give you six months to get yourself together before you start paying loans. Okay, God's grace doesn't work how our world grace period work. Okay, God's grace is a gift available to you now. The Pharisees made it hard to come to God, but Jesus says, come to me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Share this video, comment below, tell me your story. Like, how did you come to uh, believe in once saved, always saved, or do you not believe in this? I used to think if he fell away from his faith, then he was never saved. But actually, that's not what the Bible say. It's not on the Bible page. So quick to say he ain't a saved soul. You on go mode. Snatching away faith. Probably why non-believers stay away. Now you doing damage. He can't meet your standards that actually have nothing to do with his grace. Justified by faith.